Hi everyone. Sorry that I'm late by a few minutes for the live today. Uh, thanks everyone for joining in. Hi. Hello. I'm so sorry that I'm, I'm a little late to start the live. Um, I actually went for swimming and um, yeah, there was some issue with the lift and stuff, so I couldn't come back up in time. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Um, so, thanks everyone for taking time out uh, to join the session today. Um, very interesting session. Um, something that I wanted to do last to last week, uh, but we couldn't have Dr. Devraj Shom um, come for the session. I'm good, Shweta. How are you? I'm looking forward to doing the live session that uh, we're supposed to do sometime soon, uh, but I'm really enjoying uh, your sessions, uh, Shweta. So, um, uh, Shweta has been doing a lot of sessions with a lot of experts. Uh, do follow her. I keep posting uh, uh, some of the things that she's doing. She gets a lot of experts to come onto her Insta Live and share information. Uh, so that's amazing. Uh, so do go, do go follow her. <laughs> okay, so I'm just... Um, hmm. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm just waiting for Dr. Vivek Shom to join us. And, uh, hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good as well. Good to see you. Yes. Finally. <laughs> we're doing the session that we were supposed to do last to last week. <laughs> I know. My apologies on that one. And uh, I know you're going to give me a hard time on that one. But I just got the Singapore and the Indian Times mixed up. That's okay. You're not a cabin crew. So you can be forgiven. <laughs> What's up? How's it? You got the time zones mixed up, or if you were a cabin crew aspirant and you got the time zones mixed up, then I'll be super angry. <laughs> no, I, I'd still be surprised with the amount of traveling I do, but uh, shit happens. That's life. Anyways, go ahead. How have you been? That is true. I'm very good. Uh, so uh, quite a few people actually joined joined in today. We have about 46 right now, and I think we should have a lot more people joining in. Uh, so Hello, I'm, how are you, all of you? How's how's it going? And hope we can be of help to you and uh, help you forwards in your aspirations and in your life. Awesome. Why don't you do a quick introduction so uh, everyone can get to know you a little bit more? Although I think by now most people that follow me definitely know you. But uh, my name my my name is Debra Chrom, and uh, my biggest uh, achievement is that I'm the friend of the celebrity called Nidhi Bilani. And uh, I am a facial plastic and cosmetic surgeon. I practice at uh, multiple hospitals in Mumbai. Uh, we run a chain of centers called the Aesthetic Clinics, but we also have uh, centers in um, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Delhi, Bangalore, and Ahmedabad at this moment. So six cities in India. Uh, obviously, with the lockdown, uh, we are caught up in Mumbai. So the other centers are non-functional and dysfunctional at this point. But generally, we are there in six cities. So... Thank you for uh, inviting me, Nidhi, and uh, thank you for everyone who's sparing their time on, uh, I see a lot of friends, I'm Minakshi, I see, uh, so th there are a lot of people who've logged in, so thank you very much for uh, giving us this opportunity to solve your issues and hopefully take you forwards in whatever you would desire. Awesome. So I just want to quickly share with everyone as we speak, uh, one of my students is already going under a, a plastic uh, a, a aesthetic surgery for his scar removal. Uh, he has a scar here and he was actually rejected in Qatar Airways because of the scar. And as we speak, he's already uh, going through the treatments with you. Uh, so do you want to share a little bit as to how did that go? Uh, uh, fabulous, really. Uh, we've always been a big hub for treating aspiring cabin crew as well as existing cabin crew. In fact, uh, 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 some of my friends who've been in SpiceJet have been uh, uh, gracious enough to call me for their grooming sessions as well. And uh, all in all, uh, uh, this gentleman that we are speaking about is doing really well. So he's grown back some hair. He's gone ahead and uh, uh, ch treated a skin chin scar. He agrees that the chin scar already looks about 60% or so better just two weeks later. He's undergoing the lasers right now. I frankly think I, I I don't see the big deal of having a chin scar. I mean, I can't see why being a cabin crew is a big deal. In fact, I was turning around and telling him, why are you spending so much money? You're a good looking guy. 
forget about it and just just go and become an actor yeah if they don't want you to be a cabin crew because you've got a chin scar they love they love actors with they love actors with extra fingers chin scars everything so let become an actor and uh, screw becoming a cabin crew just forget it so but he was his his mind was set up on being a uh cabin crew and i'm grateful that we could help it yes uh, our april 24 I'm hoping that's your birthday. Uh, uh, scars on the hand too, so you can go ahead and treat a lot of those things. But let's follow a structured pattern, guys. Let's just uh, let uh, uh, Nidhi take all the questions and ask us the questions instead of us just jumping off and on with all the messages which are coming in. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, uh, thank you for listening to this. Uh, for every anyone and everyone who wants to know how to deal with scars, and if you want to go for treatments. of uh, then dr devrat shom would be the person that you can get in touch mm-hmm. with later on mm-hmm. post all the details as to how you can get in touch with him uh but for today we wanted to focus on basically two things because you know we were talking about this uh, one of the days and we were discussing um how having confidence is really important in life but in everything that we do not just having to interview you know in life in general and uh, there are a lot of people who be- who do not feel so confident because they feel their skin uh, is not the best looking because i'll be really honest you know um as important as it is to feel confident from the inside i think it's equally important to feel confident on the outside i'm a true believer of inside outside beauty uh, and and i believe if there are options to take care of your beauty on the outside you should definitely go for them as well so uh i i'm probably going to touch base on three things uh, that people can do to be more confident on the inside and then maybe you know uh dr devraj you can share with us uh, three things that people can do uh in terms of like keeping their skin healthy and stuff and then we can take up some questions maybe at the end uh like 15 minutes or so we can take up the rest of the questions if uh I, i was thinking we could do something like that okay so uh i i i think uh, dr devrat screen is a little bit hung um yeah yeah i'm there did you Okay, this, uh, so so I was just saying that maybe I'll share some confidence-related tips, and then you could share some skin-related yeah. tips, and then we can take up the rest of the question because a couple of people so, want to know about peels. So the most important thing that uh, uh, for people who do not know me, you should also be aware that I am an author of a couple of best-selling books, those which have been in the top ten on Amazon for the past couple of years. and the first thing that i tell people is the most important thing is to treat what's inside mm-hmm. and if you can treat what's inside the outside takes care of itself Absolutely. think of some of the biggest superstars of bollywood they may not be the best looking it's not what's outside it's what's inside if you love yourself and you love what's on you over a period of time people also tend to fall in love with you but if you don't love yourself there's just very difficult to love even the best looking person in the world so as a result of which i think what's inside is far bigger than what's outside and you got to be strong inside so uh, the one thing that i say as a facial surgeon is that we operate on the face but actually we treat the brain and so we are the neurosurgeons who don't operate on the brain we treat the brain by operating on the face because if your face looks good and if you can go ahead and feel good about yourself on a daily basis you will do good and remember what i always say is thoughts become things whatever you can think of can go ahead and manifest in your life so as a result of which making sure that you look your absolute best and making sure you are at your most confident on a daily basis will ultimately attract the best things to you in life so from that perspective it's incredibly important to feel good about yourself and if it's just a small scar etc which is not making you feel good I think it's not about the scar it's about the rest of the stuff it's about making sure that you feel good about yourself so it's not a little scar it's the impact that the scar is having on your brain and that's why it's important to treat it That is true uh, so I mean that's one of the things that I wanted to share and in fact I kind of touched base on it the last time when you couldn't join uh, so you know uh, right next to my bed there is this big mirror that I have and it's right next to my bed so when I wake up <laughs> after doing my prayers that's the first thing that i look at uh, and i'm not even kidding like i actually spend like a few minutes uh actually saying positive thoughts to myself giving myself a lot of self love like telling myself that i'm beautiful inside outside and you know 
Um, that is one thing that actually motivates me to carry on for the rest of the day and feel so confident about who I am. Uh, uh, and, and that really, really helps. So on that particular day, if I wake up and if I have like a small pimple or something, um, I'm already motivated to do something about it because I'm already in love with the person that I see. And uh, if I feel that this pimple or the small bump or the smile is going to be in the way of me feeling the way I feel, um, I probably should do something about it. So that's like an extra motivation. But it starts from within. You have to love the person that you see in the mirror. And, and I'm a you know when I actually you know, do positive affirmations. Uh, you know, uh, uh, most people on this call will know who Gary Kasparov is. Gary Kasparov was the world chess uh, uh, champion for a long period of time and the number one chess player in the world. Gary Kasparov was five years old and this is part of his autobiography. So he was five years old when he started writing down five words on his mirror and saw it every single day. And those five words on Gary Kasparov's mirror were, if not you, then who? So if, if we can keep telling ourselves every day, if not you, then who? If not you, if you won't be the chess champion, if you will not do well in life, if you will not get what you want, then who will get what they want? And if you can say, if not you, then who? Looking into your eyes with conviction, more often than not, the universe will make sure that you get whatever you want. Hi, Kaur Jesse, how are you doing? Hi, Kaur yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I so agree with you. And I mean, uh, uh, a lot of people amplified a little bit more. And that was the second thing that I wanted to share. You know, uh, uh, when a cat looks into the mirror, <laughs> if the cat sees a lion, <laughs> uh, and if, if that's what you see at yourself as, you know, you, you have the ability to amplify yourself when you look at yourself. You don't have to actually, uh, actually stop yourself at what you are. You can always amplify your strength. You can look at yourself in a bigger picture. And that will drive you to be more confident and feel more motivated. And I was just sharing this with someone just this afternoon, you know. So one of my students was sharing with me that uh, I feel very nervous because there are so many other good people in the class and they're giving such good answers. And that makes me feel very nervous. So, uh, and it was, it was uh, it's really amazing to, to listen to something like that. because You know, uh, how it is that we never think about, well, there are a lot of people who may not be giving as good as answers as I am. But I'm actually only looking at people who are doing better than me. So this comparison that we keep doing uh, without amplifying our strengths actually put us down at the end of the day. So I was just telling them that, you know, you've come to coaching with me. That doesn't mean that, you know, I'm the only person, I'm the best person who can give you coaching. I'm sure there's a lot of other people who can actually coach you so much better than I do. But should I stop believing in myself because there are so many people who are better than me? and just stop doing what I'm doing and be nervous about it and not be confident in what I am doing because there's so many better people out there. So I think that is one thing that we constantly do. We constantly keep putting ourselves down by looking at other people who are doing so much better uh, and not amplifying and working it with our own strengths, and which I think is really, really important, especially in my case. Like that works very well for me <laughs> to, to project that confidence. Uh, Okay, I think his screen is a little bit hung as well. But uh, yeah, that's what I want to share with all of you guys. Uh, confidence is a skill. I think it's super important. I think it's super, super important. And uh, ultimately, whether it's the best career, whether it's the best building, whether it's the biggest monument, they were all created in the mind first. And unless yeah. you're able to create it in your mind, it's impossible to create it in reality. Which doesn't mean that if you create it in your mind, it will get created by itself in reality. But it does mean, but it does mean that you have to first create it in your mind. If you don't believe in yourself, chances are no one's going to believe in you. So as a result of which, it is incredibly important to have the belief, to retain the belief and take uh, that forward. So that is super, super important in order to make sure that you can get whatever you desire. Because the desire has to come in the mind first and then you have to work towards it. So I think that's very, very critical and important. That's true. Look, so Ricky, that's what we are hearing, you know, that don't put yourself down because there are other people who are better than you. Uh, it's about believing in yourself. And if you feel that you're not good at what you're doing, then do something about it. You know, work towards it. And uh, a lot of people come to me and tell me, you know, I got rejected because of the scar. And my next question to them is, so what did you do about it? And then they would tell me, oh, we did nothing. 
So it's like, okay, and what are you expecting to happen at the end of the day? The star is just going to go on, go off on its own. I mean, you've got to do something about it, right? If you want to achieve something. Sorry, uh, I just have to attend to somebody at the door. I'll be right back. So sorry. I think uh, while Nidhi is away, I I also think that it's an incredibly important and important and great time in human history. Today, plastic and cosmetic surgery has the ability to solve all our problems. We are at an incredible time where whichever problem you have, the solution is in front of you. Today, the computing power of your phone is more than the computing power of the biggest supercomputers about forty years ago. So, from that perspective, we are at an extremely privileged time in human history, both from a medical standpoint, from a plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery standpoint. You just need to decide. I need to get this sorted. Whether that's a scar, that's an open pore, that's whatever. The technology and the human know-how today has exponentially increased to the level where we can solve every single problem that you have. It might be a bad-looking nose, or it might be whatever. The thing to understand is you got to make your intention, and you got to make the movement in that direction. You can't stay at home and hope that everything will come flowing in through the door to you. Unless you step out of the door and go ahead and get things towards you, things may not happen. But the technology is there. There is, um, there are amazing things which uh, the human race has today, which wouldn't have been possible even ten years before. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just going to report someone who's been like saying abusive words in the in the chat. So I saw that too, and. Uh, Dude, if you don't know how to uh, tolerate yourself, and if if you don't know how to behave in a public forum, just because the internet gives you the ability to be anonymous, if you want to go ahead and abuse people and talk about their boobs, I don't know what's so great about boobs. Everyone has boobs, right? Even men have boobs. So I don't understand what's the big deal about it. And if you don't know how to respect people, you should just get the fuck out of here and the fuck out of everywhere else. So I don't know what what uh, thing this is about people coming in and. Uh, abusing women i i am not at all uh, you know i don't understand men who abuse women at all i don't understand what is the big deal yeah it's a part of any woman's anatomy i mean a woman has breasts your mother had breasts as old that's why you were born and that's why you could go ahead and uh, uh, get uh, uh, milk from your mother but if you don't understand that uh, 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 big thing you should just be on a porn site don't come on a insta life uh, i i've already blocked that person uh Thank you for sharing your opinions. I, I I hope you. I wish you hadn't blocked him. I would have given him another piece of my mind. Anyways, go ahead. Uh, Kordati, Kordati is here. Kordati, can you share your experience uh, later if you want to? Um, and at this point in time, I mean, going back to what we were saying, uh, definitely starts with a belief, uh, intention, taking actions on intention. Uh, I personally also believe there is one very important thing that we lack in general, which actually brings down our confidence a lot. uh and i think that's really important and something that people really don't pay attention to so i think having clarity in life is really really important you know uh we just run after things uh without having any clarity what we really want in life what we really want to do so i think even before we actually set on setting intention i think it's really important to have some clarity what is it that you really want to achieve you know set a goal for yourself uh make that goal a little bit relevant is it actionable is it measurable so i feel having clarity gets a lot of confidence in what whatever that you want to do in life or whatever path that you want to choose because when you clear on what you want to do right even if things would probably put you down or you would face obstacles you would actually never never actually feel demotivated about yourself and about what you want to achieve so i personally feel that is really really important to make yourself confident uh that means whenever you're doing something what do you do you agree to that <laughs> before before going in for any pharmacological treatments or for any laser therapy people think that you know skin is going ahead and uh, ricky thanks for your advice appreciate it so uh going ahead and uh, uh you know looking at uh, uh, things in a manner which is basically everything has a pharmacological treatment is not appropriate you don't have to go ahead and have a pharmacological treatment or lasers for everything you can definitely go ahead and work out you can eat the right food you can uh, make sure you have enough water especially if you're going ahead and becoming a cabin crew you've got to understand that you are staying uh, in a pressurized environment for a long period of time 
So getting used to having a, at least eight through 10 glasses of water every day becomes very important. It's a high stress work environment, making sure that you, when you apply your makeup, coming back and removing the makeup, removing the oil from your face is very important. If it's a very long flight, then making sure you even uh, wash your face and reapply makeup in the middle of your flight is very important. Ultimately, it's about making sure that your pores can go ahead and uh, uh, breathe. Because if you don't go ahead and make your pores breathe or take care of all of that, then even the best surgery cannot help you. So surgery and uh, pharmacological elements like drugs and lasers will only help certain things become better. But unless your habits are good, if you have open pores and if your habits have been bad, you've not been exercising, you've been smoking, it doesn't matter how much laser you do because the, ultimately the skin will start going back to where it came from. So that's very important. That's true. I think we can take up some of the other questions as well at this point in time and then along the way we can share. More I had a, there was a question about open pores and so I wanted to address that. That was one of the first questions which came in. Open pores tend to... Uh, and, uh, let you know what the questions are, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so open pores occur on the skin. They are the first signs of skin aging. When you see open pores on the skin, it's a sign that your skin is giving you that your skin is aging. So that is because the collagen which tends to form the skin tends to break up and that gives rise to these open pores. So the first thing to do if you see open pores is look at your lifestyle. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you getting enough exercise? Are you going ahead and eating the right food? Are you getting enough nutrients in your diet? If the uh, Are you smoking? If the answer to all of this is positive, only then should you then come for treatment because there's no point in getting laser done and going back to smoking, right? So from that perspective, uh, get all of these basic habits right. Make sure you exercise 30 minutes a day. Make sure you drink lots of water. Make sure you remove the makeup whenever you can. Then come in. And then what we do for open pores is carbon dioxide laser resurfacing. Carbon dioxide laser resurfacing is like the Salman Khan of lasers. You literally can go ahead and get best quality uh, lasers given such that collagen starts developing in your skin. So if, if collagen is breaking down in your skin, thanks, Nikki and Nitika. If uh, 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 collagen is breaking down in your skin, the carbon dioxide laser resurfacing can actually cause your collagen to redevelop. And it's like playing a rewind button on your skin such that you're going back a few years in your age. And so those sort of uh, things can be done. In fact, carbon dioxide laser resurfacing works very well for small marks as well. So some uh, uh, scars, you will need surgery. But some other scars like small hand scars, etc., just doing a couple of sessions of carbon dioxide laser resurfacing does a fantastic job of making sure that the uh, uh, skin uh, scars can become much more obliterated. They may not completely disappear, but they'll become imperceptible enough such that you can use foundation to actually hide them. So th this is very common. This for us is a routine day's job. And there's no reason really, if a scar is bothering you, there's really no reason to live with that. Absolutely. So I think that answers the question about the scar in hand as well. There was this question about skin health boosting peels uh, from Shweta. Uh, would you want to maybe put some light on that? So, what that is? so peels, peels help. There's no question about it. Can chemical peels help. But the ones which you can use it at home, the do-it-yourself peels are not useful. I'll tell you why. Because chemical peels which need to work, like the glycolic acid peels, need to be at least 25 to 30% concentration of glycolic acid. Those you will not get in the market to use on your face directly at home because they can burn the skin as well. So you will have to go to the doctors to get the glycolic acid peel done. What you get over the internet or what you get it as a do-it-yourself at home sort of a peel are the 5 or 10% glycolic acid peels. For that, what I have to say is why are you wasting money on the peels? Because papaya itself contains glycolic acid. Use the papaya on your face and that will do the job of peeling as well. So why are you unnecessarily going ahead and wasting Okay, so while, while he's coming back, um, uh, thanks everyone uh, for coming up with your questions. And, uh, uh, you know, this is the time to ask questions. And uh, we're not just here to recommend treatments. But experts, there are, ex there, there are, sorry to interrupt. There are experts in every field. The reason why people want to go to Nidhi to get trained is because she's been there, done that. 
she can't just people just can go on the internet and get free advice but that free advice may not be curated advice it may not be advice appropriate for your cv it may not be advice appropriate for your skin therefore see a good doctor make sure that you spend money make sure you spend time so you get the appropriate treatment do it yourself peels will not do anything yes you can apply the papaya on your face because it will not cause any harm but that doesn't necessarily mean it will cause the best possible effect as as well what about uh, bumps you know a lot of times uh, and someone has a question as well sometimes when people have like small bumps on their face um, what causes it and what could be some of the things that people can do to actually take care of it apart from living a healthy lifestyle and you know uh, taking care of your diet i believe Eric, uh, what I said was that papaya can be used as a peel for the face, uh, but uh, 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 papaya will not go ahead and uh, do a very good peel. So it's better to get a chemical peel done from your doctor. Abhilasha, even one cigarette. I always turn around and say, good skin, good hair, and uh, smoking are like two parallel banks of a river. They can walk together, but they can never meet. If you want to have good quality skin, it's better not to smoke even one cigarette. because the fact of the matter is today there is so much pollution you're smoking 10 cigarettes in any case in the air in major cities in the world why would you want to smoke the 11th one so coming back to the small bumps that you were talking about nidhi the small bumps on your face usually happens to comedogenic or acne prone skin and it's important to use the good uh, use good face washes so benzoyl peroxide face washes you can go to your chemist they'll give you your benzoyl peroxide face washes in india it comes under the brand name acnesol i don't have any financial disclosures to make regarding acnesol they don't pay me to say this but basically you can use acnesol or one of these face washes twice a day but you know this do it yourself over the internet sort of treatment is not going to work for everyone because everyone's skin is different everyone's genome is different uh, the food that i eat works beautifully for me but if i started giving the same food, uh, food to everyone else it doesn't necessarily mean that that food will work for you as well because it's an interaction when you take a medicine you take a medicine you take a tylenol uh, so tylenol can work in this manner right it can solve your headache it may not work at all in you or it may actually give you such a bad raise reaction that you may actually die from the raise reaction so how a drug or how food or how anything works in you has to be titrated for your individual body you cannot just go ahead and pop a pill in just because it worked for your friend and just because dr debrat said on the insta live you saw so benzoyl peroxide face wash it doesn't mean it will work for everyone so stop taking shortcuts guys stop taking shortcuts with your uh, image with your skin with your everything i mean even today for instance when i want to get into personal learning i learn from the best in the world i pay a couple of 100 dollars in order to get the best possible sage advice in order to listen to richard branson speak because that is what motivates me and that's the fuel i need to put into my brain so that things can work well so there is no shortcut to learning you have to invest people invest in flats but the biggest investment you can ever make guys is in yourself absolutely uh there, there's a very so for everyone i'm going to save the live later and it's going to be available on my instagram uh, so don't worry about that uh i think this is a very common thing that i've heard from a lot of people uh and i know a lot of people used to face this issue uh, you know when you apply makeup after a while it starts looking very oily and for some people it, it becomes very dry and flaky and of course i understand that uh choosing the right makeup does play a huge part Uh, but apart from that is there anything else that people can do especially when the makeup turns oily after 2 3 hours see the f- the first the first thing is the first step is knowing what is your skin second step is knowing what is your makeup and what does it contain third step is understanding the interaction between the makeup and your particular type of skin these are complex things i mean you know people do a uh, you know a trial and error sort of a basis but these are complex things you need to understand makeup you need to understand your skin before you decide what is going to be good for you so from that perspective i think first choosing the right makeup second if i were you i would go ahead and wash makeup off every 4 to 5 hours i know it's a pain and you uh, uh, some of you wonderful cabin crew take half an hour 45 minutes an hour to get ready but the fact of the matter is it's like imagine you're wearing a raincoat the whole day the makeup on your skin is like raincoat on your skin it's going ahead and blocking all your pores it's not letting your pores breathe 
if you're going to go ahead and do that to your skin then how can you uh, uh, complain when your skin responds and reacts angrily by putting a back name yeah uh, i mean unfortunately when people go for interview they might not be able to do that but i completely agree with you on the fact that if given a choice you should actually not let the makeup stay on for the longest time and of course knowing your skin and doing the right makeup is really important i mean if i have a if i have oily skin if i go ahead and apply like a really oily moisturizer then obviously my makeup's not going to last any long so oh, no why makeup why makeup for instance sunscreen which sunscreen works in everyone i could speak for an hour and a half on that why? because i have tried i have tried five or six sunscreens which haven't worked for me and it's taken me a lot of effort to find the one sunscreen which works on me so as a result of which uh, the thing that you have to understand guys is that a human being by the way on that note i have a question for you you know a lot of people uh, when they want to try different products uh, for me in particular uh, okay uh, i think there's a little bit of an issue with the internet um your human beings are all unique right human beings don't have a chip within them like a qualcom chip which can be in everyone so no one size fits all and that's, that's the beauty true. as well as the difficulty of treating a human being so therefore you will have to experiment with products and most importantly go to a good dermatologist understand your skin type understand what makeup will work for you and then get started on it if makeup is a daily part of your daily routine i can't believe that you're not interested in the routine enough to at least find out once which makeup will suit you better i i have a question here so for me right when i try a different product like if i if i'm going to try a new product for me i don't usually like to test it directly on my face usually i will test it on my hand do you think that's the right thing to do i mean this is yes yeah, yeah again the question answer is it depends if you apply it on your skin you will see if you have any allergy to it because any allergen yeah. will then not affect your face but at the same yeah. time nidhi your skin your skin on your hand is very different from the skin on your face the thickness yeah. the oil glands the way it responds is all very different so as a result of which ultimately after you've tested it for allergy you will have to put it on your skin in order to decide what is needed uh, I, yeah i wanted to answer this question by uh, uh, asia where it was how can we treat pimple scars and dark spots like i said asia i think you joined in a little late but carbon dioxide laser is a great way to treat uh, uh, pimple scars many people say they have used laser but not all lasers will work as i say the attention is in the details of the carbon dioxide laser and some types of acne scars or chicken pox scars are so deep or even physical scars are so deep you may even need surgery followed by the laser so therefore no one size fits all unfortunately for dark spots also carbon dioxide laser works really well but if they are not very dark then we can give some skin whitening agents like kojic acid etc which can go ahead and be applied at night so your skin becomes a more even tone great i think there's one uh, one question that i wanted to and i think you sort of addressed this the last time as well um a lot of people uh, come to me with some self harm scars as well a lot of times and uh, the vitamin e capsules uh does that actually help in uh, lightening uh, those kind of scars or any scars light lightening yes but let's say the scar today is a 9 on a 10 can you expect to take it to a 2 on a 10 with vitamin e sorry you can take a bath with vitamin e you can drown yourself in a bucket of vitamin e it's still not going to go down to a 2 on 10 it will reduce it from a 9 on 10 to a 8 on 10 in terms of the amount of uh, causing some amount of uh, uh, lightening of the scar but if you need a definitive treatment and it's a deep scar how much vitamin e can you apply and frankly if you're going to keep applying vitamin e over a year's time isn't it better to go and do a laser it might cost you less than taking the vitamin e pill every day and not only that if you use the vitamin pill pill uh, vitamin e pill every day how much time are you losing there's also time cost of money right you you are not getting into your job because your scar is so bad they are not taking you in you are sitting and applying vitamin e you didn't get employed for 2 years think about what you could have earned in those 2 years as well right so take the time cost of money as well i think that's one thing that you've said very nicely a lot of people don't look at the opportunity cost they only look at the the amount that they would probably spend but they don't realize that in not wanting to spend that amount they're actually losing out in so much of an opportunity cost uh so so that's a very good point mentioned there of uh, some opportunity cost is the opportunity cost is the most important cost in life 
uh, uh, you know, at some point when you guys become reasonably successful and have a little bit of money, you will realize that money can be earned only if you have time and health on your side. Yeah. If you, the one thing which is a finite concept that never changes, even for the most wealthy person in this world is the day will have 24 hours and you have a set number of years to live. So don't live it living someone else's dogma. Don't live it living someone else's life. Please lead your own life and please understand every day that you have not moved towards your goal, you've wasted one particular day of your life. And that's a big opportunity cost because you don't know how many days in life you have left at this moment. I wanted to answer Shweta Chopra's question on yeah. Q-switch uh, laser. Q-switch laser is a different type of laser. So what is laser? Laser is light. Light can be different colors. You can have white light, blue light, green light, infrared light, etc. So similarly, lasers can be of different wavelengths. Q-switch NDAG laser is a type of laser which is used for very specific things like skin whitening and can also be used for tattoo removal. Now, the thing is, you have to go ahead and understand what each laser is used for. I don't think, Shweta, it should be your job to understand the type of laser. You need to find a practitioner. You need to find a guy or a lady who understands lasers well and then gives you appropriate treatment depending on the type of laser your skin needs. Just doing a Google research and deciding that Q-switched NDAG laser is the type of laser for you may not be the right way forwards. I, I, I would love to fly planes and I've been reading on the internet how to fly planes. Should I start to fly a commercial airline now? I don't doubt that, that that will be the right way to do it. I think it's more just for the information perspective. Um, no, no, I understand. And I don't mean any disrespect. I understand completely. It is because of the information perspective. That's why I gave the information. That's why I respectfully told her what it's about. But I'm also using it to inform other people that there are limits on what information, general, general information like this on an Insta life can achieve. <laughs> so. <laughs> so no i don't i don't want anyone so there are so yeah i mean uh, uh, too much information sometimes can be a little bit dangerous too so uh, i guess it's it's important sometimes to know and sometimes good to not know a lot of things as well uh, but having said that i think we'll take up a few more questions um, when he comes back nowadays nidhi the reason we get worried is once we started talking about Botox and someone actually ordered some botulinum toxin online and decided to inject yeah. themselves. So oh, therefore, wow. I make a caveat and I'm like, this is not a do it yourself. This is not a bakery show or a cooking show where you can go make the cake tomorrow at home. Please don't do that. That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to protect my license. <laughs> sure. Um, you know, uh, what about uh, a lot of people who face issues with acne and pimples and stuff like that and they actually like say it's hormonal uh, what kind of uh, part hormones play in general when it comes to skin related issues and especially especially in especially in women we are seeing a lot of hormonal problems and possibly the reason for that could be that most girls are now reaching their menarche and are starting their periods at the time that they are eight or nine years old but they are going ahead and actually getting married and having kids when they are 30 and 35 years old. So this distance between the time you start your first periods and when you have your first child, plus the sort of stress that modern living is causing is leading to a lot of hormonal problems in women. We are seeing a lot of polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS because there are cysts which are developing in a lot of women. Now, the other thing which is happening is, I don't know for better or for worse, but most women have decided that the way to embrace feminism is to embrace all the wrong things that men used to do, which is uh, go ahead and smoke or go ahead and do drugs, etc. All of these things combined are leading to huge problems in hormones in women. And when women have hormonal problems that leads to increased hair on the hands and feet, it leads to increased hair fall from the head and a lot of oily skin, which can go ahead and cause pimples, etc. So from that perspective, it is very, very important to treat these hormonal problems. Ultimately, if you're developing acne, the actual cause may be a hormonal problem. And what you should know is that it might, in fact, impact your fertility also in the future. So it is very, very important to get these treated. And any good skin specialist or dermatologist or plastic surgeon or cosmetic surgeon will actually get your hormones tested when they see a skin problem so that they can evaluate whether you will have any fertility issues also in the future. Okay, that's a good sharing. Thanks for highlighting that. 
Uh, so, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess most of the issues at this point in time, questions still revolve around pimples and acne. And acne marks, actually. A lot of people share that, you know, after the acne is gone, it leaves like a stubborn mark on their face. Uh, is it something that can be just uh, treated with like an over the, over the counter cream or no. uh, is there? No. See, if you have developed a mark, it's gone below the epidermis, which is the topmost layer of the skin and has gone deep into your dermis. It's not possible to treat majority of these scars just by going ahead and using over the uh, um, uh, uh, counter creams, lasers, etc. will be needed. What I will also suggest is in the interest of time, Nidhi, because we are running out of time. What I will also suggest is maybe all your fans and followers could suggest specific topics. And from next time onwards, when we do this on a monthly basis, we can actually have one topic every time. So as a result of which people can get all all problems on that particular issue solved. So that will be useful. Yeah. I think that's a better idea. We could pick up just one thing and we could just talk about everything deeply. So people have like more information. Uh, so so yeah, in your, in your uh, opinion, basically it has to be laser removed. Um, if the car is left after the acne. So I, I think I'll have to cut this short because I, I will be now moving into uh, some patient care. Uh, sure. we, we are we are past the time. But uh, at the same time, I'd like to request anyone if you've got any questions, you can please uh, direct message either Nidhi or me on our Instagram channels and we remain committed to try and assist you the best way we can and do all we can to ensure that you fulfill all your dreams. Sure. Thank you for uh, coming over and uh, giving us your precious time and advice. I really appreciate it. Uh, so please go ahead, uh, take care of your patients. And uh, uh, I sincerely hope that people have been able to gain more information and knowledge. And I'll share all the relevant details with them. Uh, I'll probably stay on the live for a short while more with them just to... Thank you, Nidhi. Thank you for your time. And uh, God bless everyone. Bye. 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 All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for staying on the live and uh, thank you for your questions. I think uh, that's a very good suggestion. So uh, this is what Dr. Debra Shulman I was thinking to do. Uh, we're probably going to make this into a monthly thing because I realize a lot of us have a lot of issues when it comes to scars, uh, skin-related issues, hair fall, uh, you know, uh, hormones. Or, or for that matter of fact, even if you're not a cabin crew and you still want to get some advice, we'll be happy to share that information. So we'll probably pick up a relevant topic uh, and then we will work on that so you guys can go deeper a little bit. Like, for example, just pick up laser related issues or chemical pee related issues and probably just go a little bit deeper. So uh, thanks once again, everyone, for joining in. And uh, that's the information that was shared by Dr. Devrat Shom uh, for uh, uh, the skin related issues. I just want to quickly highlight a couple of things, guys, uh, since I'm here on the live. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining in again. Um, so uh, I, I believe all of you know that I'm running a mini coaching series. Uh, this is a mini uh, series and Juhi was uh, a part of the series. Uh, uh, Juhi has shared her feedback, which is on my Insta story at this, this point in time. The first session that we did was on goal setting. So our next session is on grooming, uh, how to have impeccable grooming. And I uh, uh, just want to quickly share with all of you that I'm going to be sharing something very, very interesting in that uh, session. I'm not going to be talking about makeup and normal grooming tips, but I'm going to be talking about something really interesting that you guys would have never heard before. So I definitely recommend that you should join uh, that session, uh, which is happening on next Saturday, 25th of July, 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Singapore time. Uh, I'm going to be sharing a lot more details on my Insta stories uh, in some time to come. Uh, so as I said, this is a mini series that I'm running every Saturday until the 19th of September. So we'll be covering confidence. We'll be covering... Uh, body language, we'll be talking about public speaking, we'll be talking about uh, question answers, so there's a lot more in store for you. So for all of you, if you're interested, uh, go ahead and uh, send us your email address, go ahead and register for the webinar series on my website. Um, and also there's another thing that I've recently started, I've started sending a daily email to all of you. Uh, you guys will have been receiving email from Vivek. Uh, you will be receiving a lot more emails from me as well. So if you want to be part of these daily motivational series that we have started, uh, inspired from Julia George, of course, <laughs> uh, because I know she's been sending uh, an email to all of you. And I think that's very, very good to engage. And that's what I wanted to do as well. Um, and uh, we've started doing that. So if you want to be on that email trail, uh, do go to my website and uh, do, register, uh, do give us your information. 
uh, where it says, I want to know about webinar series and we'll include you in that email trail. So we'll not just share information on webinar, but we'll also give you information on uh, uh, what are some of the things that you could do to keep yourself uh, motivated on a daily basis. Uh, so uh, definitely do that. Uh, thanks everyone for the compliments and about seat requirements. Uh, so uh, in general, uh, for cabin crew aspirants, there is no teeth requirement in particular, but of course, uh, because smiling is an important part of our job uh, as a cabin crew member. Uh, and when we smile, we usually will show teeth. Uh, so having a, a present table set of teeth is what people look for, the interviewers look for. Uh, so as I, as I tell everyone all the time, uh, my lower teeth are not aligned, but when I talk, I try my best not to show my lower teeth. So these are some of the things that you could actually do. You don't always have to go for like surgeries and uh, stuff like that to take care of, of, of your teeth. Um, but having good presentable set of teeth is uh, what is important. And when I say uh, presentable, uh, they shouldn't be yellow, they shouldn't be stained, they should be stained free and things like that also plays a part. And it's not just about the alignment of the teeth that people always, always focus on. Um, thanks, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, going back to confidence, uh, I just want to quickly share these three things with you. Uh, confidence starts from within, okay? Uh, you've got to believe in the person that you're looking at. And you've got to affirm that belief every day uh, that, you know, you're confident, you're beautiful, you can do it, you can take care of it. It, it is a daily thing. It's not something that you do one day and then you don't do the next day. It's a constant thing that you need to do when it comes to confidence and believing in yourself. So spend some time with yourself on a daily basis to affirm uh, these positive thoughts and that will definitely help you with your confidence on the inside and on the outside as well. Um, the second thing that I always say is amplify your strengths. Work with your strengths. Everybody has different strengths. You know, when you uh, don't look at other people who are better than you because that could definitely put you down. Look at yourself and see what strengths you have and how you can amplify them or use them to the best. And, and that will basically motivate you more. And if you have a certain weaknesses, then work on them along the way so that they become your strengths at some point in time. And of course, the third thing uh, that I feel is really, really important when it comes to confidence is having clarity in what you really want to do. Set goals for yourself. Don't just blindly keep doing things in pursuit of wanting to get something. Set goals. You know, if you want to remove, say, for example, if you want to get rid of some scar, set a goal. Okay, I'm going to get rid of my scar by this time. What am I going to do to get rid of that scar? Am I going to do DIY treatments? Am I going to see a doctor? Am I going to get the surgery done? Or whatever, for that matter of fact. So, so do that. Have some clarity. Uh, thanks, Julie. Thanks for sharing. Um, so how do you do? I'm, I'm not sure what that means, Aradhana. Uh, Aradhana. Yeah, Aradhana, I'm not sure what that means. So I've answered your question about the tea. I'm sorry, I'm touching my skin a bit too much because I came back from swimming. <laughs> and I didn't get the time to wash my face completely. It's a bit itchy right now. Uh, so I better go and take care of my skin right now. Uh, so thanks once again, everyone, for joining the session today. I'm going to save the slides so you can get more information from what Dr. Devra Chum has shared. And I'm going to be sharing... Um, a lot of information about the webinars and some interesting stuff that's coming along your way. We're actually going to be launching a very, very interesting thing. I'm going to be doing that with Julia, uh, which is going to be announced, I think, tomorrow or day after. So do keep a look out on my Insta stories, her Insta stories, and the feed as well. We're going to share that. Um, and apart from that, oh, one last thing. Um, yeah, I always look forward to hearing from you guys what is it that you want me to do in terms of the webinars and stuff like that. So there are forms on my website which says, ask me, tell me, go ahead and fill them up. And uh, yeah, I, I would love to know that information. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, and once again, as I always say, I'm, 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 I'm just, I am very, very grateful um, that uh, you all come to live sessions and take your time out as much as I take my time out or, you know, experts who come on to take their time out. I, I really appreciate that you guys take time out to actually watch the stories, uh, look at my posts and uh, comment on them. And uh, at the same time, uh, come and, you know, share your experiences, gain some knowledge and share your insights. And I always feel learning is a two-way street. Um, at the end of the day, sometimes I will end up learning a lot of things from a lot of people. 
and and I love that process. You know, uh, I'm not one of those people who just want to sit here and coach and guide. I I want to learn as well, and I think you guys do a wonderful job when you do sharing, uh, when you share your experiences, um, and and that makes me learn a lot of things as well. So I think that's really important as well to be confident. You have to be humble at the same time, uh, which I truly believe in. You know, um, yeah, believe in yourself, but believe in other people around you as well. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so I think we're gonna bring the session to an end. Um, hi, hi, Akriti. How are you? Yes, I'm gonna be doing a webinar with Julia very, very soon. We're supposed to do a webinar, but actually, I had to run to the hospital. I don't know if you guys remember. <laughs> I was supposed to do a, a, a webinar, but at the right at the end, last moment, I had to put a post in mind, still saying I can't do it. I was actually in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine taking care of myself. All right, guys. So thank you once again for joining in. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff. So stay in touch and uh, take care of yourselves. Have a good Sunday evening. Get some rest. Get ready for Monday. And uh, yep. Take care. Bye. -bye. Hi, guys. <laughs>